General Information About Adrenocortical Carcinoma Incidence and Mortality Adrenocortical Carcinoma, ACC, is a rare tumor with an annual incidence of two cases per one million population. Although it mainly occurs in adults, children can be affected too. The median age at diagnosis is 46 years. Historically, about 30% of these malignancies are confined to the adrenal gland at diagnosis. However, more ACCs are being diagnosed at early stages, most likely because of the widespread use of high-quality imaging techniques. Prognostic factors. Retrospective studies have identified the following three important prognostic factors. Completeness of resection. Stage of disease. Pathological grade. Patients who have low-grade tumors without evidence of invasion into local tissues or spread to lymph nodes have an improved prognosis. The role of other prognostic indicators is controversial. Clinical features. In approximately 60% of patients, symptoms related to excessive hormone secretion are the main reason for seeking medical attention. Biochemical hormone testing reveals that up to 80% of tumors are functioning. The second most common symptoms at time of initial presentation are unspecific abdominal symptoms, such as abdominal pain or fullness. A small percentage of ACCs are incidentally discovered when imaging studies are conducted for reasons other than potential adrenal disease. Diagnosis. Initial evaluation should include careful endocrine studies to reveal any excessive hormone production by the tumor, which can serve as a tumor marker during therapy. Staging should include imaging of the primary site by computed tomography, CT, and or magnetic resonance imaging of the abdomen. In addition, a CT of the chest is necessary to assess potential lung metastasis. Although the use of positron emission tomography may be effective in identifying unsuspected sites of metastasis, its role as a staging tool is unclear. The detection of metastatic lesions may allow effective palliation of both functioning and non-functioning lesions. Prognosis and survival. The most common sites of metastasis are the lung, liver, peritoneum, and less commonly, the bones and major veins. Palliation of metastatic functioning tumors may be achieved by resection of both the primary tumor and metastatic lesions. Unresectable or widely disseminated tumors may be palliated by adrenolytic therapy with mitotane, antihormonal drugs, ketoconazole and metyrapone, systemic chemotherapy, and or radiation therapy. However, five-year survival rates for patients with stage 4 tumors are usually less than 20%. Although several studies have shown partial or even complete remission, there is no convincing evidence that systemic therapy will improve the survival duration of patients with adrenal cancer. Radical open surgical excision is the treatment of choice for patients with localized malignancies and remains the only method by which long-term disease-free survival may be achieved. Overall five-year survival rates are approximately 38% to 46%. Cellular classification of adrenocortical carcinoma Adrenocortical carcinoma, ACC, can be classified into functioning and non-functioning tumors by clinical and biochemical assessment. Approximately 60% of ACCs produce hormones. The associated clinical syndromes include the following, hypercortisolism, Cushing syndrome, hirsutism, virilization, feminization, precocious puberty, hyperaldosteronism, Biochemical assessment aims to detect increased levels of cortisol, 24-hour urine, 1 mg dexamethasone suppression test, serum adrenocorticotropic hormone and cortisol, androgens, dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate, testosterone, estrogens, estradiol, and mineralocorticoids, renin, aldosterone. Pathological assessment can differentiate high-grade and low-grade tumors according to the meiotic activity of the tumor. The differentiation of benign and malignant adrenocortical tumors can be determined using the Weiss score, which scores several histopathological criteria, including the following, nuclear grade, number of mitoses, presence of atypical mitosis, percentage of clear cells, diffuse architecture, necrosis, venous invasion, sinusoidal invasion, capsular invasion, Stage information for adrenocortical carcinoma. Several staging systems for adrenocortical carcinoma, ACC, are in use. 
the American Joint Committee on Cancer, AJCC, staging system for ACC is based on the following assessment. The stage of ACC is determined by the size of the primary tumor, the degree of local invasion, and whether it has spread to regional lymph nodes or distant sites. Proper staging should include computed tomography, CT, of the abdomen and chest. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, may add specificity to CT evaluation of an adrenal mass. In phase and out of phase T1 weighted imaging may be the most effective non-invasive method to differentiate benign from malignant adrenal masses. MRI may suggest evidence of extracapsular tumor invasion, extension into the vena cava, or metastasis. Patency of surrounding vessels can often be demonstrated with gadolinium-enhanced sequences or flip angle techniques. In addition to the above mentioned AJCC staging, the European Network for the Study of Adrenal Tumors, ENSAT, staging system is widely used internationally. The ENSAT staging system is essentially the same as the AJCC system, but reserves stage 4 only for tumors with distant metastasis. Other staging systems include the classical McFarlane system, modified by Sullivan, and the Union Internationale contra le Cancer staging system, published by the World Health Organization.